Working with machine learning means asking a lot of questions. You have to be a detective, probing to look for issues and inconsistencies with your model's performance. What if this data point changed? Why did that group of points get bad results? People usually write little pieces of code to answer these questions, but that takes time and it's a pain. And it makes it hard for non-programmers to participate. This is the what if tool. It lets you ask your model all kinds of questions. You don't have to do any extra coding. Now available in TensorFlow as part of TensorBoard. I'll be showing you some features of the what if tool, using it with the UCI census dataset in a model trained for the binary classification task of determining if a person earns more or less than 50K using their census data. This is a benchmark prediction task used by ML researchers, especially when analyzing algorithmic fairness. The what if tool contains two main panels. The right panel contains a visualization of the individual data points in the data set you have loaded and their inverse results. In this case, the blue dots are people that the model inferred earn less than 50k, and the red dots are those that the model inferred earn more than 50k. You can organize the data points in tons of different ways, including confusion matrices, scatter plots, histograms, and small multiples of plots. The left panel contains three tabs, performance and fairness, data point editor, and features. The data point editor tab allows diving into a selected data point, which gets highlighted in yellow on the right panel. I'm editing this data point to change this person's age from 43 to 53 and seeing what effect that has on the model's performance. The model still believes this person earns less than 50k, but now with less confidence. To further understand a single feature's effect on the model results on this person, we can see partial dependence plots, which show visually how the result changes as any feature is scrubbed through its valid values. Another way to understand a model's behavior is to look at what small set of changes can cause the model to flip its decision, which is called counterfactuals. With one click, we can see the most similar counterfactual to this data point from all our loaded examples. The counterfactual is highlighted in green on the right panel. In the data point editor tab, we now also see the feature values for the counterfactual next to the feature values for our original anchor point, along with its inference results from the model, where we can see that this counterfactual is indeed predicted as earning more than 50k, whereas our anchor point isn't. The orange values point out where the counterfactual differs from the anchor point. Here we see the closest counterfactual is of a different gender and has a different occupation, but is otherwise nearly identical. In the Performance and Fairness tab, which shows the model's results over the entire dataset, we can further explore the effect of gender on our model's performance. We can specify for our model how costly we consider false positives versus false negatives, and then look at model performance when the dataset is broken down into male examples versus female examples. We see a confusion matrix and ROC curve for each slice of the dataset. Additionally, the tool can optimally set the decision threshold for the two subsets, while taking into account any of a number of constraints related to algorithmic fairness, such as demographic parity or equal opportunity. The Features tab gives summary statistics of each of the features in your dataset, including histograms, quantile charts, bar charts, and cumulative distribution functions. This was just a quick run-through of some of the What If Tools features. Be sure to check out the different demos and use it on your own models and data through TensorBoard.